And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some abs and legends. That's right, we're back from our Thanksgiving holiday break. Hawkeye's all happy about it, as you can tell. And, um, you know, we're back to making, uh, you know, streaming here on Twitch, making three or four videos every single day. Um, today, what I, you know, with us being back, I kind of felt like doing some historic and honestly kind of diving into historic a little bit. I, th I think we still have a whole lot of um, a Cauldron Familiar and Fires of Invention decks in Standard, and it's which isn't bad. Which, you know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But, you know, nothing's changed too much in Standard, and I kind of feel like going into Historic, especially how the way to play Best of Three Historic is with Ranked, and it's a new month now. It's December, and so the rankings just reset. Um, and so, you know, don't have to worry about, like, our rank too much is a rank just reset um oh awesome rex sounds good cali commuter with the welcome back thanks cali um so yeah let's kind of explore historic a little bit i think that could be that could be pretty fun um so we're gonna start we're gonna play three historic decks today and i also have a donation deck that i don't know exactly what the deck is yet but um we have a donation deck that we're gonna be playing later on as well anyway um so we're gonna start with Abzan Legends. You may remember us playing this in Best of One, the first day of Historic, and I had a whole lot of fun with Captain Sisse. Um, we we did get pretty fortunate because we just played against a lot of aggro decks, and our decks kind of built to beat aggro, and so we had a real good record because of that. And not so sure it'll be that uh, as good in Best of Three, but you know that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to we're gonna give it a try. But Captain Sisse was so much fun. Because it's four mana, two, two. You just tap it. You can put any legendary card you want into your hand. So, you know, like any of these cards, uh, whatever whatever card would work the best, you can just go put it into your hand with uh, Captain Sisse there. Um, one thing, one small change that I made, I took out the six mana Garrick because uh, it's kind of expensive and instead put in a Fauna Shaman. Because Fauna Shaman, it, you, we can use to d discard extra Kethys or Captain Sisses and go find something else. Or later on in the game, when we're drawing Llanowar off Paradise Druids late in the game, we don't need them. We can discard them and find a legendary creature that's going to be more impactful. Now, of course, Fauna Shaman does get exiled to Urza's Ruinous Blast, so that's just something I have to kind of watch out for. But also, I wanted to have this because in the sideboard, I decided to put in some creatures in the sideboard, Night of Autumn. Because we need ways to destroy enchantments like Wilderness Reclamation and Murderous Rider. <clears throat> so we can kill like Oko and other Planeswalkers and creatures and stuff like that that we need to. So we got some Murderous Riders in the sideboard for our sideboard removal. Where I can we can also find Murderous Rider with Fauna Shaman. So that seemed pretty sweet. Um, but then besides that, of course, a whole bunch of Ashioks. That card's very good in this format. Same with Duress. And then just kind of some, some, big, some big stuff. I put the Garrick in the sideboard instead. I uh, got an extra Vivian in the sideboard. And that's the other thing about having these as uh, our interaction as creatures in the sideboard is that both the Vivians, the Champion of the Wilds, and Vivian Re can help dig for them as well. Got an extra Golgari Queen for the Oko decks and just kind of like aggro decks in general. Just, you know, Golgari Queen's good. And a Vile Offering for some removal against like Kethis, Kethis decks, for example, something like that, or decks that are interacting with us more. Um, Get a nice two for one spell. So let's see how this deck does in best of three. So we're going to play some traditional historic ranked. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, this deck's definitely all about Urza's Ruinous Blast. And honestly, maybe, maybe I should play a third blast in the sideboard instead of that vile offering. Yeah, and that, it was also just match. You know, our matchups were why Urza's Ruinous Blast were so good too. But yeah, maybe I should have another one of those in there. Hawkeye's all excited that I'm back, as you can tell. He's like, I'm, I'm never gonna let you go ever again. Um, other good news, I got the brand new computer ordered yesterday. 
And so that's being shipped to the house uh, from a few different sites. You know, got the pieces and I'll be building it. So, you know, hopefully it comes in later on in the week. Give me a little time to build it. You know, give me a day to do that. <clears throat> Hopefully by the weekend or be in next week, something like that, we'll have a new computer. Hey, thank you so much there, Drug Wizard, handing out some emotes and holiday cheer. Thank you, Wizard. All right, so it looks like, I mean, doesn't look like it definitely is. As for control. The problem with minusing is Oath of Kaya, but I think that's certainly worth the risk. Ugh. I know my response. Now we can't play instance. Trust me, I have a plan. Tear it down. Tear it all down. I mean, if I play a creature, they just get to bounce the creature. Is that even worth it? I don't know. I guess so. I'll protect you. Worst case scenario. All right, go Vivian, go. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. So Paradise Druid can produce red for Kenrith, to, to, so we can play Kenrith with haste. Oh, come on. I've got it. Well, this isn't looking good with them having tons and tons of cards like they do. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't have done... I mean, obviously, this is not good against um, another Wrath. Yeah. I guess I should have just waited on Kethys to just be able to play Kethys and then play something out of my library as well. Yeah, that, that was a bad use of Kethys on my part. That was a bad use of Kethys. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making this up as I go. Here we go. Yeah, we need that Veil of Summer. Oh, I think I... I don't think I put Veil of Summer on my sideboard. I think I forgot about that card. 
when I was making my sideboard earlier today. Looks like they got this though. I have just the trick for this. We'll be able to put in a, a bunch of good stuff after sideboarding. That should help us out. I wasted that cat though, so that was that was bad. Honestly, Ashiok could be just fine. Is that historic been the most fun you've had on Arena? Can't stop playing it. Nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to just. You know, just playing some fun stuff on in Historic here. Giving the format a try. Not worried too much about, you know, rank or anything like that. Um, Okay, so... So we want to get rid of things that are, like, pretty easy to answer. And that's Captain Sisse. Captain Sisse is definitely very easy to answer. Um, and so it's, like, Paradise Druid, Land War Elf. Like, those things, you know die to sweepers and everything like that. I may be a little slow if I just take out all my land war elves and paradise druids, though. <clears throat> Lyra is very easy to answer. Doesn't have an ETB effect. Doesn't produce multiple bodies. I'm going to cut a Lyra and cut the Land of War Elves. I kind of want to play these Ashianks. I kind of do. What if I do play them? Because, you know, like, they, they are, of course, Esper Control, tons and tons of answers, not a whole lot of, you know, ways to win, that kind of stuff. Like, what if we just try to attack their library? Okay, you're playing uh, Explore Package, Dread Horde, and Resplendent Angel. Awesome. We got a donation deck for an Explore deck for tomorrow. All right, I had to go find a Shockland so we're not just slowed down completely. Hmm. I wonder what they're trying to play with their two mana. I mean, it's basically like, what what do we want to play around be between what we want to play here? Ived, thanks for that resub. Thank you so much there. Um, Okay. Could have been a gate. I guess it wasn't disdainful stroke. Don't really want my Ashiok negated. This is likely Kaya's Wrath because our opponent has just had millions of Kaya's Wraths. 
Not Kaya's Wrath. Ugh. Look at all these good cards in this matchup. They're just going to the bottom. Gross. I definitely feel like they have negate. Definitely feel like they have negate. Yeah, pretty sure they're playing a gate there. <laughs> yeah, that worked out well. My opponent shocked a couple of times, and we just attacked him, and they didn't they didn't really play anything that got rid of our creatures. Okay, so we're heading to game three. We should probably have Vela Summer in the sideboard. But I don't know, maybe not. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four. One. Oh, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, it is six. It is six on the day. Okay. I was one behind. Chuck! Happy belated Thanksgiving from the other side of the pond. Thank you so much there, Chuckwar. I appreciate that. Hey, Coffin, doing great. Doing great. We're back at it, playing some magic again. Um, this isn't spectacular. I'll try keeping it. Um... Use another land or once upon a time. Yeah, yeah, I do think all those cards will stay. Even, I think the cards that are banned in standard are going to be staying legal and historic, yes. I don't think they'll be banned in historic at all. So we both mold the six. What? What? All right, well, we got a person watching the stream, I guess. 
My opponent said my opponent hasn't seen Ashiok whatsoever in the entire match. Well, that's just cool. Yeah, of course, Coffin, of course. No, they didn't see it from duress. You ever listen to the crickets? That's my kind of music. We are the apex predators. Salon's binding. Which is the counter keyword. And the counter number on cards. Um I guess. I guess I could mean different things. Yeah, the word the word counter means a few different things in magic. It means to um, cancel out a spell on the stack, but just physical counters on things could be like plus one plus one counters um that that increase the power and toughness of creatures could be um Unfortunate yeah, so there's there's a lot of different things that the word counter actually means, I guess, is the answer there. Um... Hey Decadence, yeah, vacation was very good. Had a lot of fun, and yeah, I'm back back ready to play and everything. So now if my opponent plays the Enter the God Eternals, they, they lose. Cool. Oh I don't oh never mind, Vraska can't minus anymore. So maybe maybe not lose. Uh can you sacrifice yourself? Another permanent? Lame. Do, 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 do. 
Everyone is expendable. Well, no, they they exiled my questing beast with a Mordigo. No, you mind. All right, so I was gonna be able to use Kethis to um, recast. So I was going to be able to uh, use Kethis to recast something from the graveyard. Um, probably just go recast Tulsimer just to get three bodies in play. Honestly, it may, may have been better to play Vivi to play uh, three mana Vivian, though. Yeah, that's that's probably the, the line, is just have Kethis replay the three mana Vivian. And, of course, it costs less. It only costs two, so I'd have two mana left, and then I'd still be able to, like, flash in another creature... Um, in case, like, you know, if Vivian minus and found a creature, I'd be able to flash that in, too. Hey, Papa Tim. Vacation was really, really good. And, and, uh, you know, back at it, diving into Historic today. See what we got. All right, so we could find Lanor Elf. All right, no Lanor Elf. Hey, Bleeding Black Tier 3. Back at it again. Bring in the hype. Thank you so much there, Bleeding Black. Yeah, I'll get some hype in the chat for the uh, the tier three sub. That is awesome. All right, let's see. Let's get some Fauna Shaman out here. Definitely thought about just playing Once Upon a Time, looking for like an Accelerant or something for the next turn. Fires of Invention, Helm of the Host. So you have the mana to equip Helm of the Host. That does sound pretty sweet. I think I think CW was talking about that earlier. Um, can have fire can have Fires of Invention with Thran Temporal Gateway also. So you can just use your temporal gateway to put stuff into play and you cast stuff for free with fires. Maybe want we'll to combine all those. Oh yeah, entrancing melodies in in historic. I already forgot about it. Entrancing melody. That card's good. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. One bite. And all your cares are gone. Need this one. All right, Clue King. So not unlike um, every other deck ever, I think my deck's probably really bad against Oko. Not a whole lot to do about that, though. What's mine is yours. 
And yours is mine. Yeah, I don't I don't really have any illusions of us beating Oko with this with these cards. I, I have just a couple of cards that kill Oko, and these aren't it. As long as they just had any creature, because they stole my Fauna Shaman, as long as they just have any creature, um, they could, you know, go grab Wicked Wolf and stuff like that. So this is why we have the extra Golgari Queen and the Murderous Riders. Hopefully those help out a little bit against Doko. Yeah, of course, my, my plan of Kethis, Captain Sisse, pretty rough here. Pretty rough. I mean, it's not too rough as long as they just don't have Oko. But that's hard to... Hard to achieve on my end. I think I should take out the Great Hinge. Yeah, I'm back. No, I don't think Oko is dominating Historic, but it's certainly... It's certainly a huge part of Historic. You know, but I'd, I don't know if it's dominating or not. There's a lot of good stuff to do in Historic. And Oko is part of that. Oh, I, I don't I don't know, Vaughn Vaughn, I just Yeah, I just came back from a little you know, a little four day vacation. I don't say so what deck's gonna win the Mythic Championship. I don't I don't know. So yeah, to be honest, I don't know I don't, I know that they I know that the decks have been published for that event, but I couldn't tell you 
anything about like what all the players are playing. I, I assume a lot of Cauldron Familiar stuff, but so I, I don't have any predictions. I don't know. So we got the Great Henge out here, but obviously my opponent can turn it into a 3-3. I sure hope not. Hey, Papa Doc. Um, I think, yeah, I think Azorius Control is good in standard. I don't really know why it would not, why it would be in a bad spot. So yeah, you're saying now you want to play Azorius Control? I say, go ahead. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hey, what's up, Mana Traders? Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, the escape room thing. Yeah, I talked about that one a little earlier. It was it was fun. We did um it was like a Sherlock th Sherlock Holmes themed room. And um and yeah, you know, we had like an, an hour to like um basically figure out the clues of of who this murderer was. Um it was like a, a thing called like the Baker Street Five gang that one, they had some infighting. One member killed um, killed another in the gang. We had to, we had to figure out who who the murderer was, and they said they were leaving town in an hour. So you only have a time to it's you only time have like an hour to figure it out. out of the shadows. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Yeah, it was fun. No, I just I just ordered the computer yesterday with Cyber Monday. And I uh, you know, so it should be coming in the next few days. Basically I wanna just kill all these Llanowar elves. Yeah. So yeah, the escape. Yep, the escape room was basically it took one hour. We we finished with like thirty seconds left. Um, they gave us a couple of hints. Um, it was really tough. Um, but yeah, it was basically it was a it was a small room. Um, and there's there's three of us doing it, and you know we had to like decipher clues to to. Uh, is like it was like basically the like one of the members of the Baker Street Five 
left all the clues in the room, but they they wanted it to be difficult for us to find so that they had time to get out of town to figure to put it all together. And, you know, we had to, like, you know, decipher one and then, you know, figure out, like, what the code was to unlock, like, an, another lock and then do that. And then there's, you know, more clues in there and then and and so on. It was it was really well put together though. It was a lot of fun. Anatran, thanks for that resub tier three. As well, two tier three resubs. Staying on that two month streak. Thank you so much there, Antran. No, it was it was like twenty five dollars. Um, they said we could do another one that day for fifteen also if we wanted to, but the other things we were doing. But yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't like super expensive to do. Yeah, that was my very first time doing an escape room. Uh, my my friend David's done them quite a bit before, and so I knew what to expect. But yeah, it was it was a good time. Well, unfortunately, we're down to five here. My opponent's down to five as well. I think their five is probably going to be better than my five, though. Like, I need to keep Murderous Rider because we need to be able to kill Oko. But I also just don't have... Don't have any black mana. So normally I'd want to put both Murderous Riders down to the bottom, but it's just too important in this matchup because we just can't beat Oko ever. Hi, Yud. Hey everybody, it's Yud's birthday too. Happy birthday, Yud. Well, there's some black mana. Oh yeah, yeah, Oko should never have been designed how it was. wonder in a blade of grass so they could kill Vivian with questing beast open your heart to the magic that dance it's not poison trust me Wow. Well, I got really punished for just trying to play magic. Ugh. Mysteries of life are endless. GG. I invite you to change your way. me and you strike nature let me show you what was lost let's broaden your existence
I, w I wouldn't say just because a card is banned in historic, it needs to be banned, or just because a card's banned in pioneer, it needs to be banned in historic. I mean, those are different formats. So just because Veil of Summer is banned in Pioneer doesn't mean it needs to immediately be banned in Historic. All right, one and one. All right, let me see here. Um, Fauna Shaman doesn't help play anything right now. Let's see what we get. We can, you know, play Fauna Shaman on two. All right, well, that's better. I was going to say, we could play Fauna Shaman on two. We don't draw a land. We, like, discard Lyra or one of the ex or an extra Kethys. Go grab Paradise Druid and play Paradise Druid. All right, looks like we got some mono black control going on here. Brexian Arena is awesome. Clockwork Serpent. I think this card's actually kind of underrated. I think I should be playing more Clockwork Serpent than what I actually am. In life. Like a three mana two three draw card is not a bad card. So I don't want to block here because of Disfigure. I think that could be a pretty easy card to play in the main deck. Okay, so it looks like our donation deck that we're going to have later on is Abzan Control. Sorry, excuse me. Hey Ross, thank you so much for that resub. So of course I do want to pressure their life total to make Phyrexian Arena worse. And Questing Beast does that. A lot better than Lyra does. I mean not a lot better, but you know, could attack immediately. But if they have a remo removal, like, they could have had two-mana removal. I'm not sure exactly what they would have had at two-mana removal, but they could have. Oh, your queen necromancer has a nice ring to it. Well, see, now I'm glad we saved the questing beast. Perfect. A little death never hurt anyone. The big question if there's, is if there's going to be another one of those. Like, I, basically, I can play Kethys, then questing beast. Because... 
cut this makes this cost three, so I can I can unload both of these. It's a bad play if there's another Liliana. I mean, how bad of a play is it though? It's actually it's actually really not a bad play against another Liliana. Because if they have another Liliana, they're dead. If they play it. Because this attack puts them down to five. Upkeep <clears throat> for Rexy Arena puts them down to four. They have to have like instant speed life gain, life gain, which they could with moment of craving, but they would need a creature in play. Because yeah, if they just play Liliana and minus, then I just play Oath of Kaya, do three, and then upkeep. They take the fourth. So they have tons and tons of cards, but they're in a lot of trouble with this Phyrexian Arena. Um, yeah, they, yeah, they kind of need Tendrils of Corruption. Kill something, gain a bunch of life. So Mono Black Control. Sixty-two. There we go. Sixty. I like taking out Lyra because, again, it's a five-mana card that doesn't have an ETB effect. You can just get killed by, you know, Murderous Rider, Vrass's Contempt, that kind of stuff. Hey, welcome back, Liu King. So we got to lead with Once Upon a Time. Five creatures. I don't know which creature I want to take. <clears throat> I guess Kethys? It's either that or Night of Autumn. I could just grab this Night of Autumn. Let's grab the Night of Autumn. And then if we... If we realize that Night of Autumn isn't very good... I was going to say we could discard it to Fauna Shaman, but... Alright, time to start taking the removal spells away. Auto pass was left shift and enter. I think that's what it was. It was one of the two shifts and then enter. I think it was the left one. Hey, Vogtelex. Welcome back. I did have a good break. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, Dread Presence. Dread Presence so good. Uh, Dread Presence so good. That's so good against my four mana two two. Hmm. 
So I kind of can't play Captain Sisse right now. Not great. Oh, geez. No land. All right, well. Here we go. We're going to risk it. No land, no land, no land, and no removal spell. No land and no removal spell. I don't know what the chances are of them having no land and no removal spell, but... They had a removal spell. We didn't have great chances there, but... Huh. That did not seem like a great choice for Dread Presence unless I do hope you make this hmm. battle exciting for me. I don't know. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. I was going to say that just dealing damage to me whenever I have Kenrith, it can just gain life at a lot faster rate isn't a great option. That was my assessment there. That makes a lot more sense. Clockwork Serpent's been pretty sweet. Death. Well, I could have killed Liliana. I couldn't really just be at two. With them having a dread presence in play, well, like what a good mindless minion. I 
I don't know, they're at 26. It's kind of risky. Hey, it's not a Noxious Grasp. Well, darn. <laughs> All the zombie ladies. <clears throat> march into battle and make new comrades. To shamble. These Clockwork Serpents looked looked really good. So I think we need these Murderous Riders. We gotta kill Dread Presence, and obviously killing Liliana would be nice too. Not that likely that we're untapping with Vile Offering. Gosh, Captain Sisse is great, but it just seems really difficult to pull off Captain Sisse. All right. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't be mad at Mono Black doing some some uh, sweet stuff. Definitely like Mono Black control. Probably just taking a land with this once upon a time. Guess I could wait till turn two. The only way I'll get punished for waiting till turn two is if they have a duress on one, which isn't very likely. I'll give you some more information on what to take with this once upon a time. So now I got three lands. Probably just can't risk it. Yep, we have one druidic vow in here. If I play, if I just play Othakaya and do three to them, then. Uh, if I would do that, then I'd be able to just sacrifice the... Like, I could have just gone turn 3 Othakaya, and then turn 4, sack the Othakaya to draw a card. So basically, I could, could just do 3 to them and cycle. Then if they play a Dread Presence, I'll feel pretty bad, though.
Hmm. I don't even know if this is a good play. I guess I could have just played Golgari Queen. I'm just not doing anything with Golgari Queen right now. So if my opponent's going to be aggressive with their life total like that, maybe this Othakaya will come into play. grab here. So, of course, we have to have a legendary uh, creature or planeswalker in play to cast Druidic Vow. I am ancient and wise. Heed to my advice. <laughs> yeah, Mind Stone's really good, too. Doom your past is unreal. Written. Yeah, mine sounds really good. Its loss will serve us. When he lands. Of course, I, I would like to play Druidic Vow for five, but even playing it for four is like a bare minimum. Do, 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 do. And they're just going to kill Vraska, right? Leaving the body. I mean, it's better to play Captain Sisse here, so we have two legendary things out, but then, you know, if they're just ha sitting on, like, the creature removal, like tendrils, disfigure, stuff like that. So it looks like we're going to be able to do Ultimate Braska, and I guess they're not sitting on tendrils or anything to kill my Paradise Druid. All right, Golgari Queen Ultimate again. Golgari Queen. We're going to get a lot of experience today, probably. We got a pack. Ooh, Mythic Gems. Mythic Gems. All right, two and one.
Okay. All right, nothing better than ramping into Urza's Ruinous Blast. Boo. Oh, come on, deck. Let's draw that other land. Let's play Lyra Dawnbringer. Oh no! Chain Whirler! Got my Paradise Druid. Now we're gonna need a couple of lands. That was, that was a great first draw. We gotta land. Now we need one more. Uno mas. I should have just attacked with Shalai. I'm not blocking with Shalai. I don't know why I, I don't know why I didn't attack with Shalai. Old school red deck wins with new school castles. Yeah, I felt like we traveled back in time. Playing Shalai. My opponent plays Viachino Pyromancer, does two to themselves. So I think this is a pretty good matchup for us in general. I'm not sure if we're going to have time to be able to play the Great Henge, but I imagine if we ever do play the Great Henge, it's probably just game winning. I think I either take out Vivian or take out the Great Henge. I take out one of the two. Take out the Great Henge. Yeah, Shalai was a really good card. Missed Shalai too. I mean, yeah, if the elves die to Chain Whirler, that's not great, but we also. With that being said, we we also kind of need the acceleration as well. So our our deck's pretty slow. It's not like they're just gonna always have chain wheelers all the time. You know, if they would. Kill an elf with fanatical firebrand, at least that'd be a one for one. So I want the land drop. Yeah, I'm just going to take the land drop. Kethis would be another really good card to have, though. I mean, yeah, it depends on the deck of, like, leaving Land War Elf in or not. In my opinion. Uh, 
Uh, I guess there's not really any reason to cast that at sorcery speed. Just kind of on a sorcery speed binge right now. Why is keep why is keeping Captain Sisse in risky? Risky as in it, it will win the game for us if we untap with it ever. So risky for my opponent. They have to have a burn spell. It just says tap win the game. So I think that's pretty valuable. Why would you take that card out? Um, sure. That seems like pretty good text. Yeah, you can definitely play it in Naya with Rhythm of the Wild for sure. Huh. They didn't kill Captain Sisse. Alright, well, we win the game. Um. How should we win the game? Poor opponent. Um. Oh no, I was going to go grab Kenrith. So we're going to be able to gain five life with Kenrith and we'll have the activated ability to bring back Shalai. Or, or uh, the 2-2 two -two if they kill that. All right, three and one. Let's play one more. I guess I was trying to do too many things at one time. Uh, it just wants me to buy stuff. I don't want to buy stuff. <clears throat> Ravnica Allegiance Pack. Gems. Ooh, bring in the vault. Oh, they changed the color of the vault. It's now like looks a little rusted. Uh, it doesn't put up like the three and then the two of them and then it just has the t X3, X2. That probably makes more sense anyway. Questing Beast was lethal. Uh, I guess we could have done that too. Oh, they changed that with the historic update. Well, I had been winning too many wild cards, I guess. 
I didn't realize that. Yeah, order the P new PC yesterday during Cyber Monday. It was a couple hundred dollars cheaper than it was last week. Um, but, you know, got it from a few different sites, like, all together. You know, got the different pieces and stuff. So, um, should start coming in tomorrow. And then, you know, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday should hopefully be all in. I don't I don't know if anything is going to get delayed. If any, you know, if any of the pieces are going to be delayed, I hope not. And then we'll build it hopefully by the weekend. We'll have new PC. I don't think I want to pay two life to do one damage to stomping ground. Stomping ground is usually a pretty aggressive strategy. So Captain Sissé is my better card to play. Questing Beast help turn, helps turn on the Great Henge, though. I'm going to play my better card. When you get a fifth copy... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're explaining how the vault works. Thank you, thank you. Uh, an Abzan version of the Knight's List. Not really... No, I guess I haven't really. Um. Uh, that is, yes, going to come into play on tab's good. So I grabbed Shalai so I could go grab a land, because I wanted to hit a land drop also. Now I'll go get Lyra next turn. Sure, questing beast. Do your thing. Ow. Captain Sase is the best. I should play only legendary lands in the deck. Hmm. All right, so they're playing gruel stuff. Oh, come on. So Vivian destroys Ember Cleave, but besides that, it's going to be pretty slow. Druidic Vow is going to be kind of slow. How important is killing Ember Cleave? Uh, hopefully not too important. Knight of Autumn can block Questing Beast and Spellbreaker and things like that. What happened? We had Shalai and Lyra in play, and my opponent conceded. See, my opponent couldn't handle that combination. Expecting more... <clears throat> Kral Harpooner, Collision Colossus, 
that kind of stuff. Yeah, once upon a time, like a cheat code, be able to keep hands like that. Is up to you. you can still walk away. So I have to play Vivian this turn and then uh, be able to ruin his blast this next turn. I need Vivian, of course. I need to be able to untap with Vivian, of course. What? What? My poor opponent. They just clicked through their attack stab. That's a feels bad. That's a feels bad. All things begin and end in nature. Yeah, that feels bad. All right, so Abzan Legends went four and one. Honestly, that's really good. We did we did kind of better than I was expecting. We didn't really play against combo decks too much, which uh, I think those are going to be really tough for us. You know, we played against a lot of creature decks, and that's like where we can thrive is against. Uh, is against creature decks. Uh, no, we did well with this deck last time too, but last time we played in best of one. This is our first time playing in best of three. Historic. But no, yeah, last time we played the deck, we did well then too. Um, so yeah, we've done good both times. Uh, but like I said, both times though, we've, we've played against a lot of creature decks. Uh, we saw how we really struggled against Oko. Um, that's just a really hard card for us to beat for sure. Uh, but we only played against Oko one time, and so we went four and one. We beat everything else. We still we did good against uh, Esper Control, and I think we do have a lot of good stuff against Esper Control too. Um, having like Questing Beast from the new set has certainly helped that out, that matchup out um, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Abzan Legends there. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't really matter if you, it, it depends on, yeah, you can, you can open it one boosters one by one or 10 at a time. They're, it's not really the one's better than the other. So just w whichever one that you kind of prefer, you can either open them faster or if you like the, um, like to see each individual pack by itself, whichever one you prefer. Hey, welcome back, Duke. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. All right, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that's Abzan Legends. Um, I liked basically everything in here. I think my probably my least favorite card was probably the Vile Offering. I think that was... Uh, I think that card's a little unnecessary. Maybe, maybe play like the third Ruinous Blast, because there's some matchups that Ruinous Blast is just spectacular against. But to be honest, those matchups that... Urza's Ruinous Blast is spectacular against are probably good matchups for us because those matchups, you know, usually we get to untap with Captain Sisse more. So basically this this extra sideboard slot's kind of open. Um, if there's something in particular that you want to play against, like the Oko decks, um, 
you know, I had Murderous Rider in there because we can find Murderous Rider with, uh, um, with Vivian's Once Upon a Time and Fauna Shaman, you know, like that being kind of important. That's why I have it over like Noxious Grasp, for example, there. But all right, there's our there's our first uh, historic deck of the day. Like I said, we're going to be playing three historic decks today. Um, definitely enjoying historic. You know, we're playing against a whole lot of different stuff right now. Um, the fact that they're not they're not even publishing like historic lists kind of anywhere, so it's just it's a pretty wide open uh, format, and um, you're not really playing against uh, super well tuned tier one decks all the time. And so if you want to rank up and you want a little bit easier path to rank up, probably going historic is going to be a little bit easier path to rank up than um, uh, standard. Um, now, I wouldn't say this is like a, you know, a super well-tuned tier one deck at, at all. <laughs> Not at all. Um, and, you know, probably none of the decks that I'm playing here today for that. Um, uh Okay, Storm says a, a place called MTGA Zone has some cool historic lists. Okay, there we go. Um, so so that could be a site if you want to check that one out if you're watching this later on. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's so uh, we're going to keep on kind of ex ex exploring historic and exploring these new cards that we didn't get to play in standard that they just added in historic anthology like Captain Sisse and stuff like that. All right, up next we're going to play Grixis Control. See if, how uh, combining Fires of Invention with Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, how that is. So that's where we're playing up next. So for those of y'all on YouTube, uh, thanks for sticking around through the four-day break. I really appreciate that. And uh, please hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave comments as always. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Legends, and I'll see you for the next video.